On the previous video, I showed you how to create these wipe transition, which was part of these composition. So in this video, I'll show you how to create or stylize our text so that it looks cool like that. Now, if you want to work in the edit page or in Fusion, the process is the exact same thing. Go here into the inspector and then find the shading elements right here. In the Fusion tab, all you have to do is go to the inspector and find the shading elements right here. So work in whichever you like best. Sometimes it's easier to work when you have a non-black background. That way you can see the changes more easily. So that's when Fusion comes in handy because it has the transparent option right here. The first thing that we're going to add on this text is a second layer, which is going to be an not drop shadow, but a little bit of a volumetric element to it. So we're going to go and add that second element here, change the appearance to a text fill, and then make sure the priority is less than basically by default, it's going to go behind. So if you go higher, then you'll notice that it comes in front of your main text. So you don't want that to happen. So just leave it at default, but usually it will be behind. Offset and adjust the offset elements a little bit until we reach something that we like. The limitation here is that if you go too much, let's say if we move these a little bit too much right here, we can see that there's a separation here and that doesn't look that well because it doesn't look like a volume element on our text anymore, especially on these sections right here, right? So you would want to keep these as like close as possible, but then also adding another element. Now that you have that there, we can go and add a third element here and you can add up to eight elements as you can see here. By default, it's gonna add a drop shadow. So you're gonna have to adjust the softness and bring these back to zero. And also you're gonna have to offset or adjust the offset element of these a little bit. So that is a little bit closer again to our main text. Now we already have added two elements that help our text stand out a little bit more. And this is obviously depending on the context. If this type of text doesn't fit your video, then it makes no sense, right? But that's how we can add more things and build on top of it. So we can add a fourth element and make this an outline. And then we're going to bring these to, I want it to be black. So ideally you would want this to be the same color as your first background, right? And as you can see here, this is also behind everything, but we want to bring these in front of everything. So we're going to press eight and we're going to have to adjust the positioning of these so that we're not covering everything and also adjust the thickness of it. Adjusting the thickness, making it just thin enough so that we can see the difference. Then the text already looks a lot better. I really like these and the way that this looks. Now, the only thing that I'm not completely happy with here is that we have these little space in between the layers right here that's noticeable so you can always go to the shading section and adjust these manually and bring them a little bit closer but that's also gonna make the actual effect right uh have a lot less volume so it's gonna look a little bit flatter if you do that now once you're happy with the result what you can do is go and to add another last element and we're going to turn this element into a drop. So the way that we're going to do that is basically set the color to black or a darker color. And then we're going to adjust the softness of these to like, let's say five, maybe like that. But if that is a little bit too much, you can just leave these at like three, maybe, and then play around with the offset so that it looks a lot better. Just basically experiment. Now you can always experiment with the strength of the drop shadow that you want to have. And then at the end, you can always apply, go and play with blending mode. If you bring these back to zero, it's going to look a lot filler or fuller like that. And that also adds a cool effect to our text, right? But you can just always play around and see what ends up working best with the type of effect that you're going for. Now, one thing that I forgot to mention at the beginning is that you can always change the color of your text right here so that it fits better with the theme that you're going for. So yeah, that's just a normal that I would, I assumed that you already knew, but if you're new here in DaVinci and Fusion, then you have to, that's something that you need to know. But yeah, that's basically the same, a similar structure to this section right here. Okay, after you have added all the elements to your text, there's one last thing that I want to share with you, which really gives it a little bit more of a cartoonish um, style, maybe. 
but I really like the way that it looks. And that is those little bright here, these bright elements right here, this bright section. But that's going to be shown in the next video because I don't want to keep this video too long. And it's a really cool tip that you can also apply to create a lot of other cooler things.